inferior radio ulnar joint and the rest joint the inferior radio ulnar joint it is a synovial joint of pivot variety the articular surface the head of the ulna articulate with the ulnar notch of the radius articular disc it is a triangular plate of fiber cartilage which stretches between the root of the styloid process of the ulna and the lower margin of the ulnar notch of the radius. It lies immediately below the head of the ulna, separating the cavity of the inferior radio ulnar joint from the rest joint. Arterial supply from the surrounding arteries. Nerve supply from anterior and the posterior interosseous nerves. This is the inferior radio ulnar joint, and this is the rest joint. This articular disc separating inferior radio ulnar joint from the wrist joint. Muscles which are acting on the radio ulnar joints will have two movements only, pronation and supination. Pronation by pronator teres and pronator quadrates, while supination by biceps and supinator muscle. In general, the supinators are more powerful than pronators. The biceps is the most powerful supinator muscle. The brachioradialis may help in starting supination or pronation. Mid radio ulnar joint, interosseous membrane between the radius and the ulna, forming a fibrous joint or syndesmosis, formed by oblique cord and the interosseous membrane. The oblique cord is a band of fibrous tissue connecting radius to the ulna just above the interosseous membrane. The gap between them transmits posterior interosseous vessels to the back of the forearm. This is both bones, this is the ulna, and this is the radius, the interosseous membrane, forming a fibrous joint or mid radio ulnar joint. The muscles which are acting on the radio ulnar joints, the presence of the articular disc allow the radius to swing around the head of the ulna and prevents the separation of both bones from each other. Burination by pronator teres and the quadratus, subination by biceps and the subinator muscles. Generally, the subinators are more powerful than pronators. The biceps is the most powerful subinator muscle, and the brachioradialis may help in starting subination or pronation. This is the pronator teres, and this is pronator quadratus. This is for pronation, then subinator muscle or biceps for supination. The pronation subination, the axis of rotation passes from the head of the radius above to the head of the ulna below. Subination, the radius and the ulna lie parallel to each other. The palm of the hand faces forwards. The thumb is directed laterally. While in pronation, the shaft of the radius lies across the front of the ulna. So the palm locks backwards and the thumb now directed medially. The head of the radius merely rotates within the annular ligament. The lower end of the radius and the articular disc revolve around the lower end of the ulna, and the interosseous membrane become somewhat lax. This is the movements of this is the pronation, and this is the movements of supination. The functions of the interosseous membrane number one. Connecting the radius to the ulna. Number two, it gives the origin of the numerous muscles of the forearm. Number three, it transmits forces received by lower end of the radius to the ulna. The muscles which attach it to the interosseous membrane, the anterior surface of interosseous membrane gives the origin to the deep group of the flexors except pronator quadratus. The surface of interosseous membrane gives the origin to the deep group of the extensor muscles except supinators. This is the interosseous membrane. 
and this is the oblique chord. The wrist joint, it is a synovial joint of ellipsoid variety. Articular surface, lower end of the radius and the articular disc proximally. Scaphoid and delunate tricotral bone distally. The capsule and the ligaments lateral and the medial parts of the capsule are thickened to form radial and the ulnar collateral ligaments of the rest. Anterior and the posterior parts of the capsule are thickened and passes from lower end of the radius to the carpal bones. These ligaments forcing the carpus to move with the radius as one unit during the pronation or supination. Arterial supply, deep palmar arch, anterior and posterior carpal arches. Nerve supply from anterior and posterior interosseous nerves. This is the wrist joint. This is the collateral ligaments. And this is the inferior radio ulnar joint separated by articular disc. The movements at the wrist, flexion occurs by flexor carpi radialis and ulnaris, flexor and the abductor polishes longus, flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus and palmaris longus, while extension by extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis, extensor carpi ulnaris, extensor digitorum, abduction by abductor polishes longus, and extensor polishes longus and brevis. In addition to flexor and extensor carpi radialis, adduction by flexor and extensor carpi ulnaris. Circumduction occurs by succession of the above movements.